Just to ask for a campaign with the confidence rising. I told WDF, don't switch. Good times are coming on EVD diving. Fan cams, reactions, watch along. Still the pride of London thriving. The Eagles of South, they flying. Keep your eyes on us, we ain't hiding. Yes, guys. JC from Eagle Live Football here. Welcome to the Crystal Palace versus Bournemouth away vlog. Uh, chairman here has just picked me up from work. I've got changed on the side of the road. My Eagles. But, <laughs> you know, it's what was the time now? Six minutes past four. Yeah. Got to get there in time. Just listen to the traffic. There's an accident on the motorway we're going to take down there. So we might not even get there in time, but, you know. All for Palace. All for Palace. <laughs> anyway, let's get on the road. Well, we're about halfway there. We are stuck in loads of traffic, as you can see. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. It's really not. It reminds me of a lot of uh, the Norwich trip that we did a few years ago, innit? Yeah, traffic. It's just stop, way, yeah. start, stop, start, accidents, rain, everything. But... We're enduring it. We're getting there. Oh, I hope it's a good game. <laughs> <Is> that... <laughs> I hope it's a good game. After all of this, my God, yeah. Hopefully, yeah, definitely. Well, we just found out Richards might be injured, might be. So, that'll be interesting is who we're just discussing who they're going to play in his, in his position. But, do you bring Lerma back and make the midfield weaker or do you just bung Tompkins and hope for the best? I don't know. I don't know. I think... The, the least it, the least issues will be caused by putting Tomkins in and hoping for the best. But it is Tomkins, so I've seen a few shouts for Mitchell at centre back. I've seen some shouts for Munoz at centre back as well, because Munoz played centre back for Genk. But I, I would I would honestly I would just put Tomkins in and chance. Guys, the team news is out. It is 6.48 and the team goes as follows. In goal, we've got Dean Henderson with Munoz, Ward, Anderson and Mitchell. We swap into a back four because of Richard's injury and I think that's probably the right thing to do. I'd rather do that than play Tompkins. Um, in midfield, we've got Will Hughes, Adam Wharton and Jefferson Lama, who's returning to uh, Bournemouth's ground again because he used to be an ex-player of theirs with Ayu Eze and JP up top. I don't I don't really know what else he could do there. I think that's a pretty strong lineup. Uh, the bench is Remy Matthews, uh, David Ozo, um, Franco Ume, Ahamada, Edward, Schlapp. Huh? Matthews. I, I already said Matthews. Yeah. So really there's not much off the bench and Tomkins as well but you know Edward's back I think that that's a massive plus for us because we've said it many times Mateta can't do the whole game and he couldn't do it against Forrest so at least he can actually come off have a rest and we have a fresh striker to come on Chairman what do you think about Edward? Yeah back? totally yeah. totally agree with you. I think so I think he'll definitely be coming on sort of 70 75 minutes today um, yeah, I'm not, I, as much as I don't particularly like Hughes and people like that in midfield, I think that's going to be a better option than playing uh, Tomkins, who just has not set a foot in the field buying about two minutes of one game for about a year. So, um, yeah. Thoughts yeah. on going back to four at the back? Yeah, I think, I think it's a good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing. But what it does mean is that our midfield is going to be stronger as well, isn't it? So as long as the midfield can protect the back four, we, we should be OK. Fingers crossed. Well, we've made it. 
We're just looking for parking now. Also, one thing we forgot to mention is Mathurin, second appearance on the bench yeah, yeah. in a row. Try this B. Try this B. <laughs> Probably not going to get a game, but you know, it's good to see that he's that Glasner's selecting them really. Mm, definitely. Um, yeah. Glasner's definitely looking at the youth, and that's a good thing. There's a lot of kids on the bench again Ozo, Ume, Mathurin. You know, we, we, we might actually see one come on today. You never know. Uh, hopefully we don't park too far away from the stadium, but it looks like we're going to have to. Oh well. Well, on the way to the game, I don't think I'll be walking to a football stadium on a football pitch. It's a bit mad. <laughs> from the mud and disgusting. As you can see, I am very wet right now, as I have been all game. But it is half time, it is nil nil. And we had a goal, but Mateta was offside in the build up play. Good finish from Eze, great cross from Munoz, well worked goal, but unfortunately we're offside. It is what it is. However, Eze again, he went down, we thought he was injured, we was all a bit scared, but luckily he got back up, started chanting with the fans, as you guys seen, and started playing a little bit better. However, his decision making is what's let him down. Everything else about his game today has been really good. It's just his decision making. There was a time where he was through on goal and there was a defender marking him and there was JP literally standing unmarked in the box and he tried to dribble towards the goal when he was within the six yard box. Just slipping JP and it's an easy goal there. But, you know, I feel like we're having most of our players are having a good game. I think Hughes is playing well. Anderson's trying to get himself sent off though. Uh, Munoz is pressing up high, and Lerma's playing as a centre back as we thought. Um, but I do think we can win this game if we press up higher. They actually don't know what to do with us when we when we go forwards. They they really struggle. But we're not committing enough forwards. When we do go forwards, we can break through them. But we're just not making the right decisions in the final third. But that is a very Crystal Palace thing to do. I think this game definitely screams a dodgy 1-0. I don't know which way, but it screams a dodgy 1-0 in my opinion. But, you know, let's hope it's us. Let's hope it's us. But 0-0, let's get that win. Come on, up the Palace. Half-time. Well, it's been quite an even game. It's very similar to Forest actually, where Bournemouth have probably got a bit more of the possession. Um, we're getting chance, but they had a fabulous chance, didn't they? they when the guy headed it just past the post, really, from where we were standing, we, we really thought he went in. But, um, but we, I mean, we had scored one, which we all like. Should have scored another one. And we had some kind of really good opportunities. But just, I don't know, he's to say, I think Jordan's right, it's just not committing enough men forward. Because when we go forward, we're really putting their defence under pressure. But it's, I don't know what he's going to do that. Uh, obviously, Lerma's playing deep, isn't he? He's playing as a centre half. He's not playing in midfield, and maybe we're missing him in midfield a little bit. But fair play to Hugh, who's actually having a very good game. So um, you know, as long may it continue. But weather conditions are terrible. It's so windy. It's pouring down with rain. The ball's slippery. Uh, Hen over. Yeah, it was falling over. Henderson's just not even catching the ball because you know you just, you just can't risk it because it is so blustery. But more of the same and hopefully we can just push a few more players forward and commit a bit and we'll, we'll get our rewards but you know it's gonna be a very very tight game but you know fingers crossed we can do it also somehow the hf have got the drum in which is funny <laughs> anyway let's get it <sighs> oh, 
in the car now. I am cold and wet and disappointed. What the hell happened in that second half? At the end of the first half, we were looking like we were going to push on and win it. and Not even win it, maybe push on and try and get a goal. But it just had to be a dodgy 1-0 and it is what it is. I get why Oliver Glasner put on Ozo. I 100% get that. But why swap him and Lerma? Ozo is not a centre-back, he's a midfielder. Lerma's also a midfielder, not a centre-back, but Lerma has experience in the Premier League of being a centre-back, where Ozo just doesn't. It just doesn't make any sense to me. We just went back into our shell again uh, in the second half, and it just it just wasn't good enough. I think we are in a little bit more trouble than we actually think we are now, because that performance and the performance before that, certain players just haven't been performing. Eze, I'm, I'm not saying he had a bad game today, but I think his decision-making just makes every little thing stick out just that little bit more. I think just rolling the ball to, to Mateta for him to have an easy shot at goal, that makes it 1-1 at least. Or, you know, um, he got taken out a few times at the end of the game. I haven't seen it back yet, but I'll, I'll let you know in the pre in the review, I mean. But is his reputation of diving catching up to him again still? Is he not getting these decisions because of that? I'm not sure. Um the Schlupp one as well, I think um, Newcastle got a penalty for the exact same thing. But, you know, if you got the ball, you got the ball and it's not a pen. But I, I need to see it back. But a dodgy 1-0 and it's just disappointing. It really is. Don't know what else to say about it, really. I'm not going to do the player ratings, no point. Because I'm just a bit disappointed right now. But next two games, loss and loss, Liverpool and City. You know, it's not looking good for us right now, but... We we need we need to do something. We need at least one more win before the end of the season and a few more draws. But I just don't see where it's coming from with these kind of performances. Chairman, what do you think? Yeah, I think you summed up perfectly. Really, just very first, even first half. We just didn't do enough second half at all. I can't actually remember working the keeper at all second half. And the thing, the stupid thing about it was we we ended the first half quite well and we started the second half really well without actually creating anything. But we we kept the ball in their half. We kept control. And the and to be fair, I mean, up until they scored, they didn't have a shot. There wasn't even a shot in the game in the whole second half until they scored. And then once they scored, they had another shot straight after that. But, I mean, I don't think they deserved to win either, to be brutally honest with you. But I know no team deserved to win. But they had two chances and took their chance. We had two chances and missed ours. And that's, that's all it came down to. It's fine lines, isn't it? But with our run coming up now, we could have done with it. Even a, a point today, just keep pushing on, just keep pushing on. But... It's going to be hard. I still don't think we're in danger yet, but um, hopefully Arsenal do us a favour. And you know, by the time we we played City and Liverpool, we're not, you know, not dragged back into it again. But we have to wait and see, don't we? Yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. This is the Bournemouth vlog. Um, hopefully, I'll get this out to you tonight. Um, but just disappointing. Um, I guess we move on. I'll see you tomorrow for Tat Eagle and then a review preview for the City game. Anyways, guys, as always, up the palace.